Welcome to our tutorial, Output Instructions, the second in a series produced by Purdue University's Department of Agricultural Economics. If you haven't seen the first video, please click on the link below to access Farm Bill 2014, How to Use the Texas A&M Online Model. All technology in these tutorials was developed by the National Association for Agriculture and Food Policy. We begin this tutorial by examining output from an account that has already entered two different farm units, one for soybeans and one for corn. Either of the farm units can be edited to correct or update information by choosing the blue edit button. The historical yield information can be edited by choosing the blue yields button. We are going to continue with the information we have already entered and move to the main output of interest from the decision tool the comparison of government payments from different program options. To view this output, we click on the Base Acre Reallocation and PLC ARC Decision Aid link in the right-hand column of Available Tools. The first set of information that is shown when you open the Decision Aid is a report of the data you input into the farm units, including the historical planting of crops. The model shows you the 2009 through 2012 planting and prevented planting. Those are the four years of planting that can be used to update program base acres for the FSA farm. The two columns labeled current base and potential reallocated base show the two alternatives that farmers will choose between as part of the program signup. The blue button at the bottom of the page asks you to confirm that the information in the tables is correct. After you verify that your information is correct, the decision aid advances you to this page asking you for your price outlook. The five-year price outlook is the primary determinant of which program will generate the largest set of payments. The decision aid provides you two baseline price assumptions from the years 2014 to 2018. The first of these is from the Food and Agricultural Policy Research Institute. And the second is from the United States Department of Agriculture. Clicking either of these two buttons will autofill the price forecast into the input area for you. You can also edit directly into the price input column using your own values. Once you have forecast prices input, you can click on Analyze Program Options. This opens a page with extensive reported output. Our purpose here is to help you navigate that. In future offerings, we will get into detail about focusing on the comparisons among programs offered. The top of the screen shows you user data. This is your chosen price outlook and the national price and county yield information that are used in calculating payments. These are included as reference information so that you can track the output back to assumptions that were entered into the decision tool without having to reload the input pages. The heading, Analysis Output, indicates that everything below that point has been generated by the decision model using your input assumptions. The first table, called Base Reallocation Considerations, shows you a side-by-side -side comparison of program payments using old and new payments for each commodity entered and for each USDA program. A column with yes in the reallocate base entry indicates the model performed a base update in generating those calculations. That column will always be followed by an entry headed no, which gives the alternative outcome when an update is not performed. All output in the Texas A&M model is presented in this manner with both the base updated yes and non-updated no alternatives presented. Moving down the output page, the next set of results shows whole farm expected payments, assuming that all program crops are enrolled in the same program. It is important to remember that only the ARCIC, Agricultural Risk Coverage Individual, requires that all crops be entered into the same program. The PLC, Price Loss Coverage, and ARCCO, Agricultural Risk Coverage County Option, are programs that can be elected on a crop-by-crop -crop basis. As such, the more interesting results to focus on are below where the output is broken out by crop. Examining the grain corn results, we see all program options listed on the left and a projection of farm payments for each crop year in each row. 
the final value is the sum of all five years of the program. For each FSA program listed, there is a blue link titled Show Details. Clicking this link does not take you away from the output page. It merely expands a section. This detailed view of the year-by-year -year output gives you an idea of the uncertainty there is about the estimates from the model. The first item is the expected payment or the average outcome. Directly below that is the probability of receiving a payment. This decision aid is supported by a simulation model that runs a large number of projections for each analysis. The probability number indicates that 91 of 100 times the model evaluated your farm generated a non-zero payment given the input you supplied. The remaining three rows of data provide some indication about the odds of getting a certain size payment. These rows provide information on what the 25th, 75th, and 95th percentile payments are for each program option and crop. At the bottom of the page is a button, Change Prices, that returns you to the Price Forecast page so that you can consider another price scenario. The decision aid does not have a mechanism for saving scenarios, so that if you want to compare scenarios, you will need to copy results into a spreadsheet or find some other method of grabbing information from the screen. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments section or email boone18 at purdue.edu.